The Detroit Lions only have four wide receivers under contract for the 2024 NFL season. You have Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Antoine Green, and Khalif Raymond. You had Josh Reynolds and the traded Donovan Peoples-Jones that are free agents. And I've made a list we've talked about, and we still have to talk about DPJ and Josh Reynolds and the pros and cons to both of those guys coming back. But it's a guy you want me to talk about, so I will talk about him. You see him on the thumbnail, Equinemia St. Brown. He's one of the two other brothers of our star wide receiver, Amara St. Brown. And a lot of you guys are like, that's the guy that you want. And I'm here to tell you that Equinemia St. Brown is not the guy that you want. I'm just going to put that out. Spoiler alert, he's not the guy that you want. The Detroit Lions are trying to get better at every position. Brad Holmes says, we're trying to get better. Equinemia St. Brown does not make us better. I think that a lot of the time, and this is what I love about fans, like y'all criticize me a lot for my opinion, and I love that. I love being the black sheep. I love being the guy that gets all the kickback and I'm a right, I'm right a lot of the times. And it's just simply because I watch the team. And one thing you're not going to hear from me is my heart being in something when it comes to somebody being on this team. Now, Jared Goff is my guy. I've never wavered in believing in him. And but and and I also would not trade him for two first round picks. We we are we have a quarterback that we're winning games with. I'm not going to trade him for two first round picks. I'm also not going to be overly attached to players. And the fact that that's St. Brown, because let's be real, the only reason y'all want him on this team is because he's the St. Brown Brothers podcast. Let's be real. Equinemia St. Brown does not move the needle. He is a he's 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 a downgrade from what we have. And I know that he might hate me saying that. His brother might maybe might hate me hate me saying that, but it's the absolute facts. Equinemia St. Brown is not a upgrade in any way over anyone that we have, maybe Donovan Peoples-Jones. And that's just because he didn't get the ball thrown his way. All right? So let's do this. Let's look at his 2024 stats. All right. Now, he had five receptions. This is not a mistake. This is not a mistake. In the 2023 NFL season, he had five receptions, no touchdowns for 62 yards. Now, you might say, and I already know what you're going to say because I said the same thing. I said, wait a minute. This must be because Justin Fields is their quarterback and he's their leading everything. He runs more than he passes. He So how is Equinemius going to have any yards? Any, but 62 yards. Okay. So then I looked at his history. All right. Look at the 20, he he came drafted in the sixth round, picked 207. So he's right around where Antoine Green was at. Antoine Green was like 217. He was at the start of the seventh round, all right? 2018, his rookie season, 328. 117, his sophomore season. His last season in Green Bay, he's 98 yards. His first season with the... Chicago Bears, 323 yards. Okay, he's never had over 21 receptions. His high target is 38. He has in his career 928 yards. 928 yards. His brother in every NFL season has had more yards than him. Now you could say, okay, well, and, and his Three seasons, his first three seasons, meaning Equinemius in the NFL, he played with Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers is not a scrambler. And the most you could get was 36 targets. His, his highest number of targets was 38. And it's not like these teams had bona fide receivers. Well, you had the Green Bay Packers had Devontae Adams, right? All right, now this is probably one of the things that's appealing to you guys when it comes to Equinemius St. Brown. He signed a one-year deal. He's a one-year deal guy. He does fit in the Brad Holmes mode. A one-year deal in 2023 for $1,165,000. Okay? So his brother, <laughs> him and his brother almost make the same thing. All right? And he's a, he's a free agent this year. He has no market value. So as far as a cheap individual, he fits right in the mold. Right in the mold. Equinemia St. Brown does not move the needle. He'll be, he'll be 28 years old when the season kicks off. 
Yeah, because we got, let me see, 200, 365 days. To, no, he'll be turning. Let me see when his birthday was on ESPN. His birthday is August, I'm sorry, September the 30th. So he'll be turning 28 after week four of the NFL season. This is not a guy that we want. I'm sorry. Like, you know what? I'm not sorry. I'm, I, I said that last week. I, it's, it's force of habit. Equinamia St. Brown is not the guy that you want. There's a whole lot of other guys that we can get. And, and I know you guys talk about Calvin Ridley and all this stuff. And, and, and what really grinds my gears, I need to have a segment on this, is when we say spending money. All right? The Detroit Lions have built through the draft. But a lot of y'all wanted Max Crosby at the trade deadline. Come on, man. Like, his, the dude was making, his cap hit is like 30-something million dollars. Like, the guy, you are going to get what you pay for. Equinemia St. Brown is a downgrade. And that's not what we're trying to do. So Calvin Ridley, probably not. I mean, you will see. Josh Reynolds is more likely if he decides that he even wants to come back. Maybe, maybe he feels like he's he likes it here, but maybe he, as he going into probably one of the last contracts, if not the last track contract of his career, he wants more targets. I'm not saying Josh does. Josh doesn't seem like that type of guy. He loves it here. He loves JG. Had the best years of his career with Jared Goff. It's like the only quarterback he's known except that brief time in Tennessee with Ryan Tannehill. But this guy, Equinemia St. Brown, is a downgrade, okay? And let's be honest with yourself, he, money-wise, he's not going to make nothing. He, he might make a million dollars on a one-year deal, two-year deal. But y'all want him here simply because Amon Ross St. Brown made a joke or made a recommendation that he comes to Detroit. Who wouldn't want to play with their brother? It was the same thing with Panay Sewell when Noah was coming out last year. It was like playing on, on the same team. We have set of brothers on our team, the Okwara brothers. Just because they're brothers doesn't mean anything. So for me, I'm going to say no on this whole thing. St. Brown, Equinemius, no. Give me Josh Reynolds all day. Josh Reynolds all day. And this is not, I'm not trying to, you know, knock Equinemius. He seems like a, a decent dude. And, and I, I just think that y'all looking with y'all heart and not y'all head. This, is, this guy, other than being St. Brown's brother, a St. Brown brother, because let's be real, if this guy was not, if his brother was not on our team, you would not care. That just all you have to do is answer. Would you want St. Brown? This is the easy answer to the question. If Equinemius St. Brown's, if Amara St. Brown was not on the Detroit Lions and or you didn't watch the St. Brown Brothers podcast and or St. Brown didn't say you should come play in Detroit, would Equinemius St. Brown be on your free agent list? The answer is an absolute no. There's nobody in this chat that would say yes. So I'm going to say hard pass on that. I only talked about this guy because you guys wanted me to talk about him. And I know why, because he was mentioned on the podcast. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hard pass for me. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade. I'm not trying to downgrade at the position. And to me, Equinemius will be a downgrade. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel on a push to get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the month or free agency, the start of free agency. So we got about 30 some odd days, uh, really slow moving February, man. But when we get there, I'll give away the, the um, other Detroit Lions, 33 inches to one subscriber. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.